Jeff, please introduce yourself. What do you do and why do you do it? Uh, I teach entrepreneurial journalism and social journalism at the City University of New York Graduate School of Journalism. What is entrepreneurial journalism? Entrepreneurial journalism is teaching journalists to start new businesses, to save the business, and to reinvent journalism for a new age and a new reality. Because journalism hasn't changed for about a century, and it's time we must change it. And why is it important? Not every journalist has to be an entrepreneur and has to start businesses, but every journalist has to understand the business of journalism. They've got to understand how we got here, why we do things the way we do, and especially they have to understand how we can reinvent journalism, what the new opportunities are. I tell journalists that, that when a journalist sees a problem, they tend to just complain about it and write about it and they're done. When an entrepreneur sees a problem, they look for the opportunity. When a scientist sees a problem, they look for the solution. I want journalists to more and more look for opportunities and solutions. When you say this to journalists and publishers, are they receptive to it? Journalists are now desperate for change. Uh, I think if you went back 15 years ago, journalists were pretty haughty and didn't believe they needed to change. But now there is a, a thirst, a hunger for trying to figure out innovation. The problem is that journalists are busy trying to stay alive. The editor of a major newspaper in America said to me, the problem is we got two houses. One of them is on fire. And the other one is the one that you're trying to tell us to build, Jarvis. You don't even have blueprints. The one that's on fire is the old business model, the reach volume business model. Let's get more and more audience. And, and what's happening there is that the, the price of advertising is going down in, a, in an abundance-based market. The desperation goes up. We resort to clickbait and cats and Kardashians. And journalism gets cheapened in the process. The new house we have to build for journalism is one built on relevance and value. No longer treating the public like the mass that we treated them like for a century. Instead, understanding that people are individuals and members of communities. And how do we serve them as such? So you can look at this as a journalist and call this a community, or you can look at it as an entrepreneur and call it a market. In either case, you're listening to people and you're serving their needs. Will entrepreneurialism save journalism? We don't know what's going to save journalism. The truth is there is no one messiah. We've had a lot of false messiahs, right? Tablets didn't save us. Native advertising hasn't saved us. Paywalls have not saved us. We're going to need many revenue streams, many business models, many different kinds of products to reinvent journalism in a new age. We're no longer going to have this one monolithic product called a newspaper or a show or a magazine. We're going to have lots of different kinds of journalism. And that's why I tell journalism students, it's a great time to study journalism. It used to be, in my day, age was, was something that was a qualification. Youth was something you got over. Now youth is a qualification to be a journalist because you should look at the world differently. You should see opportunities where old farts like me don't see them. If you were 20 again, what would you be doing? I think if I were 20 again, I would try to see a community that is underserved in any definition and to go and understand their needs really, really well and then try to invent products and invent services that are going to serve them. And out of that, make enough money to live. Jeff Jarvis, thank you for your time. Thank you, Peter.